CS2 Hammer doesn't let you compile your map without a ray tracing enabled GPU. However, you can still compile your map without one. To do so, press F9 to open the compile menu, then open your settings section and go to the command line section. Highlight and copy the text here. Open your terminal by pressing the Windows key and typing CMD and hitting enter. Paste the text you just copied into the terminal and then type dash lightmap CPU and hit enter. Your map is now compiling, however you should be aware that this will take a very long time. Mappers working on Half-Life Alex found that compiles could take up to days at a time. Additionally, in CS2, not all lighting features work when compiled like this. Specifically emissive materials, textures that produce their own light, won't work. Now that the map has compiled, we need to move it into the game's maps folder. Go to the output folder specified in the original command. Go into CSGO add-ons, then the name of your project, then maps. Copy this VPK file, then go to your CS2 install. Go into game, CSGO add-ons, then into your project folder, maps, and paste the maps VPK file here. Switch over to CS2 and open the console with the grave key. Type map underscore workshop, the name of your project and then the name of your map to load it up. This whole process is quite cumbersome, so in the description of the video I've provided a batch script that will automate this process. Once downloaded, just right click the file to edit it so you can specify the project and map name. Save the changes, then double click it to run it. You also need to remember to save your map before compiling this way, otherwise the compiled map won't contain any recent changes.